Hey, Derek, great question in the community, man. Um, sometimes sellers will want you to do all the due diligence before the offer goes in. And that's typically going to be like your bank sellers, your REOs. Um, sometimes it can be a private seller, but it just depends. Auctions are that way. Like when you make your offer, it needs to be a final offer. Um, you need to do all of your due diligence and inspections prior. Other times you might be able to still get a short inspection period, but the only way to really truly know is to have a conversation with the seller or the seller's agent. If you have an agent, which I believe you do, and you're going to want to have your agent contact the seller's agent to have that conversation. Now, if it's clearly stated in the MLS or on Zillow uh, that all inspections need to be done prior then there's probably not going to be a little wiggle room there. But again, I always encourage you to ask because a lot of times people will just put that out there to prevent people from putting it under contract to then do inspections to then back out. Maybe there's known issues with the property and they just don't want somebody coming in and wasting their time. So it really depends. All right. That's kind of the answer to this question. Uh, but I'm glad you asked. Um, to me, I'm always going to try to have a conversation with the seller or the seller's agent and ask them. I'll let them know, hey, I'm not trying to waste your time. I'm aware of any said or known defects, but I still want to get a sewer lateral inspection. Is that okay? And if they say no, well, then you don't get that inspection. If they say, yeah, that's fine. We just don't want X, Y, or Z. You know, 20 or 30 days of all inspections, there's going to be a little bit of wiggle room there. So it's going to depend, man. It really is have a conversation or have your agent have a conversation is going to be the best way to know. And then of course, just read the descriptions on Zillow or in the MLS. When they're on the MLS, it's going to be a little bit, you know, more detailed most of the time. Uh, but also see if you can find out who the seller is. If it's a bank, they're probably not going to give you any, any inspections. If, and if they do, it's going to be very limited. If it's a private seller, there's obviously going to be a little bit more wiggle room there. Like, for example, I've had sellers in the past say, no inspections post-contract, everything's got to be done in advance. And I say, all right, cool, no problem. But what happens if I put up $1,000 in earnest money instead of $500? Or what happens if I put up $500 in non-refundable earnest money and I only need three days or five days? Therefore, I'm essentially buying that time. I mean, there is no right or wrong answer to do this stuff, right? Everything is going to be kind of gray in a way. And that's good, though. That's the beautiful thing about real estate is it gives us the ability to negotiate and to essentially work with people to get things done. Always go into the, to the deal, the offer making, you know, with the assumption that you are going to close by all means. Uh, but again, it's not a black and white answer here. You know, you're going to have to have a conversation or have your agent have that conversation to kind of see where they're at. If they, if they say no inspections of any kind, do your own due diligence prior, period, you're buying it as is, cash, you know, whatever, then it is what it is. So keep it simple. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, man. Thanks.